about being here and having to speak about this fucked up ass shit. And and I have to try to be careful because I also I don't want to say words that hurt my family while I have to talk about this fucked up ass shit. This shit is not theoretical. This is real. And these are real people. Real people who had life and had dreams and aspirations. Who were loved intimately. Who were known closely. Whose lives were taken senselessly, thoughtlessly, with no regard. And then here we are seeing how decades and decades and decades of further disregard was presented to them when they should have been honored and should have been loved and embraced and should have been able to rest in peace and power. Say it with me. Fuck you, Penn. Fuck you, fuck you, Penn. Fuck you, Penn. And fuck Princeton. And fuck Princeton. And all of these motherfuckers who think that it is okay to disregard the humanity of anybody. Because we're not even only just talking about this moment. I mean, what was it, just a week ago when they had all of the other individuals who they, whose lives they disregarded? And they say it's okay because they think, oh, well, this is a part of this, this cultural moment. This is how the science goes. This is how we do it. We have to do this. This is what excuses us experimenting on human beings. They've been doing this to our black bodies for hundreds of years. In the name of science, in the name of study, we are not subjects of study. We are human beings, goddammit, and our lives matter. And I'm tired of all of this suffering that has to come with being in this fucked up ass place. And we are here to say no fucking more. No more. No more! No fucking more! No fucking more! No fucking more! Excuse me. We're gonna have we're gonna have libations by Mama Maisha, Mama Maisha, today. And this is a very particular kind of libation that's coming today. Libation is always is particular, is always important. I don't want to. Here we go. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mama Maisha. You know, I've done hundreds of libations, but this one digs deep. Because in African tradition, ancestors are revered. This is why we pour libations, because we're supposed to remember them. We're supposed to honor them. We believe their spirit is still with us. And that we, we, we know we depend on their energy, their spirits to guide us to be the models of us of resistance and to think of how they handle the remains of our ancestor children, who were some of the strongest of the ancestors because of their purity, because of their lives that they, had, they hadn't been tainted or touched by too much. So children ancestors are especially 
special to us. And to think these Cretans here, these things impersonating humans in human form, got skin. I don't know what they are, but they lack humanity. They have no respect for us living or dead. And not only do they have the remains of our babies, they got the remains of the Native Americans in there, and ever that grave robbers, the cultural interlopers, they're marauders. So this libation is to lift up the, the spirit of T and Trudita and all the other remains they still holding on to, the thieves that they are, grave robbers and spirit catchers. So we're going to start this libation calling out the names of these ancestors who we know resisted this kind of stuff, who fought against injustice, who fought about elevating all of humanity, but in particular those who are the most vulnerable. And our children are among our most vulnerable. So we want to start pouring libation for the warriors, the warrior women, the warrior men, to give us strength to deal with Penn and Princeton to get the remains of our babies back to their family so that they can deal with them in a way that feeds their spirit and honor their legacy as, as their bloodline, as a social family, as their biological family. So please call out the names of the warriors, warriors we need to help us stay strong to fight this battle. Ashe. 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 And the Chief Sitting Bull who fought for his people. Father Paul Washington. For all the unknown remains in this building over here. The building need to be burnt down. We're going to pour this libation. We're going to end this libation for the unborn because they're on their way here to join us. As we speak, and some babies are being born. So we pour and say we welcome them joining us in this struggle and that we want to make sure we clear some space for them so because they're going to have to struggle. You can't avoid the struggle. You know, and they on their way here, and we say we building a place for them, for them to stand next to us in this struggle, and that we're going to prepare them to struggle, prepare them to stay steadfast, prepare them to respect all of humanity, living and dead, and prepare them to challenge these institutions that have no regards to anything except the dollar. Ashe. 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 In a second, we gon' you know, we all got these masks on because we being safe and we have little technical difficulties with this. So we can wipe the mic and continue to be safe. I don't want to, I don't, I, 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 it, it don't look like it's. One. So now we are going to hear words from our brother who needs no introduction, Mike Africa Jr. On the move. On the move. On the move. On the move. Come on, y'all. Be nice. Y'all know this is a this is a heavy moment, and people need energy. People need energy. That, that energy is a way of showing love, okay? Come on. On the move. On the move. On the move. On the move. One, two, one, two. On the move. On the move.
first, before I say anything, I want to thank everybody that's showing this love for my family, for my sisters, for my move brothers and sisters that were murdered on May 13th, 1985. Mama Maisha said that building need to be burned down. I couldn't agree more. See, you have to bear with me. Ever since I learned about this thing that keeps happening and I can't Stop it. I talked to my mom about it yesterday and she was trying to encourage me to do some breathing exercises. And I'm trying to listen to her, but just bear with me. On May 13th, 1985, the government dropped the bomb. And they killed 11 people. 11 of my move brothers and sisters. My family members. And when they did that, medical examiners were paid to find out what happened to these dead people. And they took my Moo family, my brothers and sisters, to a lab. And they left them unrefrigerated. Their bodies were decomposing. 